If you're interested in Mint Mobile, click the referral link down in the video description to save a little money. You go ahead and purchase your Mint Mobile plan. They're going to send you a card in the mail. Go to mintmobile.com and in the upper right hand corner, click activate. So this card that they send you in the mail, it's going to be about the size of a credit card on the back of it. There's going to be an 11 digit activation code. Get this 11 digit code and type it in the activation code area. This is also going to be a time where you can pop out your SIM card and place that within your phone. They're going to give you a SIM kit helper, a little pin thing that you put into your phone so you can pop out your SIM tray. Get the correct size SIM card. It comes in three different sizes that you can pop out. Slide that back into your phone so that you're ready to go for the next step. So once you get that activation code, you go ahead and click start or resume your application. Then it's going to take you to this next page where you can either transfer an existing number or get a new number and then also type in your area code. For me, I'm going to be transferring an existing number. So that's going to be the option that I go ahead and click. But if you want a new number, you can do that as well. It's very simple. Once you get to the next page, this is going to be how you transfer your number. You need to get your number that you're going to be transferring, your account number, PIN, and zip code that are associated with your prior service. So for me, I logged in to my prior cell phone service account. I went to my account information and there was a tab that said port out information. When I clicked on that, it had my old phone number that I was going to be transferring, my account number my pin as well as my zip code so i took all of that information i typed it in to this mint mobile screen and then clicked transfer and then it goes through that port out port in phone number process the next page it's going to go over the return policy you can read through that click the box and then click proceed with activation on the page after that you're going to have to type in your first name last name email and a password for your mint mobile account after that it's going to take you to this activation still in progress page and you need to make sure again that you have your new sim card put into your phone so that it's ready to go in terms of going through this activation process now this could be very quick it could take up to a day it just kind of depends on the situation for me it only took maybe around 10 or so minutes to get that activation going so then after that you can go through and read the site terms of use check that box once you've gone through and read all that information Click continue and then it'll take you over to your account page. Within your account page, this is going to be where you can check up on all of your account details, billing information, whether you want to change what kind of plan you have, all of these different options you can find on this page, including when your current activation started and when you're going to be billed next. Of course, all of that important information. So down in the video description, again, I'm going to have my referral link, but I'll also have a link to mintmobile.com if you want to check it out there. Thanks for stopping on in. Subscribe for more and I hope to see you guys back here for future videos.